TV station has changed over 70 years, and so has the thing Las Vegas is known for worldwide, of course, mm -hmm. the Las Vegas Strip. But to create that new look, the Strip got rid of the old look, and that led to the implosion boom of the early 90s, early 2000s. Brian Loftus shows us how what goes up must come down. The Dunes was the 10th resort on the Strip when it opened in 1955, but in 1993, it was the first one to get blown up and kick off a string of implosions. When the landmark went up in 1969, it was the tallest building in Nevada. In 1995, it came tumbling down to make room for an expansion of the Las Vegas Convention Center. That iconic scene made it into the film, Mars Attacks. The sands. And then the hacienda became piles of rubble and dust in 1996 after more than 40 year runs for both hotels. The country couldn't get enough of the implosions by then and the hacienda's demise was nationally televised. Soon the genie was out of the bottle and an implosion of the Aladdin would round out the 90s. The new century kicked off with the implosion of what was the first full service casino resort on the strip, El Rancho. That site had a run of bad luck, but Fountain Blue could open there soon. Another of the originals, the Desert Inn was close behind. The wind and Encore now stand in its place. Castaways, Boardwalk, Stardust, and Frontier would all get blown up in quick succession in 2006 and 2007. Then a nearly decade-long lull as the dust settled. The last hotel casino to be imploded was the Riviera in 2016, once again to make more room for the Las Vegas Convention Center. For those keeping count, that's 14 casinos so far that have given their lives to make way for the future.